One of the things that people on occasion will ask me is, well, I understand that the intake of something from the environment on an acute basis, uh, we understand how it works. But what if we take in low levels, but it's maybe over a period of months or even years? You know, where is the data saying that it's safe? This is a, it's an excellent question. It also becomes a question that at times is next to impossible to answer because if you say, what about lifetime exposure? Well, then we'd have to do studies over 70, 80 years. So instead, we have to rely on techniques such as, say, epidemiology. Let's use pesticide residues as an example. The concern in the popular press has been articulated. It says low levels represent a risk. Usually running in parallel with that, there's comments about, well, this is something new. That in you know, my grandmother's time, pesticides really weren't used at all, so therefore the food was probably safer and better for you. Well, the reality is what we see is people are living longer and they're healthier today than they were 100 years ago. And coupled with that, if we look at the epidemiology, study after study says, well, the more fruits and vegetables you consume, the lower the risk you have for a number of chronic diseases, in particular vascular disease. So if one follows that logic, that would suggest that, well, but if pesticide residues are really bad, then on those fruits and vegetables, those folks who are eating most of them, they should be at increased risk for some disease states. We see no evidence of that at all.